Can you find the turtles on my shirt? Hey guys, it's Brandon, and welcome to Nature Meets Paper, the place where we go on an adventure to discover the world of marine biology. Today is the season two finale. We finished off season one with a green turtle. So I figured why not finish off season two with a tiny green turtle. Are you ready? Let's dive in. The green sea turtle lives in tropical and subtropical waters around the globe. But as we have found out, Hawaii is special. Hawaii has a genetically distinct population of green sea turtles that stay near Hawaii and move to the French frigate shoals to lay their eggs. I will insert a map of the entire green turtle habitat range. Just know that we will be focusing on the area around Hawaii. The habitat changes with age. The eggs are laid in sand and beach. Juvenile turtles prefer coastal waters with relatively calm water, including bays, mud flats with seagrass, and shallow corals. The adults can be found in lagoons, in coastal reefs, seagrass meadows, bays, and coastal regions. The Hawaiian green turtle averages a carapace length of 40 inches and can weigh up to 300 pounds. This is like the hood of your car, just for the shell. They have two long pectoral flippers that help with propulsion and steering. Seems like many of the animals we are learning about recently have counter shading. This means they are dark on the top and light on the bottom surface. The green turtle is no exception. They have, a, they have brown to yellow dorsal surface and light cream color on the bottom surface. Juveniles have brighter colors with flashes of bright brown and yellow on the surface of their scutes. The green turtle is the most common and largest hard shell turtle in Hawaii. So now that we know how to identify the Hawaiian green turtle, we need to discover what they eat. We can look at their habitat range to determine what they might eat. They love being near algae and seagrass beds, as well as some corals. There must be something in those locations that the turtles feed on. Well, we don't have to look very far to find their food source. The turtles eat seagrass, algae, and occasionally jellyfish. This diet causes their fat to turn green, which is the reason for their name, the green turtle. So, what threatens or eats the green turtle? Tiger sharks and humans. These are the two major causes for turtle deaths. This raises another question. How are the turtles doing? The IUCN Red List has them as endangered. Overhunting for turtle shells and collecting for eggs has put a lot of pressure on the green turtle. The turtles are slow to reproduce and regain their population slowly. Since they are endangered, it is illegal to touch or interact with the turtles. You can watch from a safe distance, but don't bother them. I do have good news though. The only population where there has been population growth is in Hawaii. Since 1970, the population of green turtles has increased by 53%. That is awesome. They are still listed as endangered, but we are going in the right direction. All right, the moment you have been waiting for. How did I come across this tiny turtle? Well, I was at my hiding hole, of course. This is a location on the road to Napili on the island of Maui. It is a peninsula where many turtles gather to feed on the rocks. There were large turtles clinking and clanking against the lava rocks. And there were tiny turtles getting washed by the waves as well. You can't tell from the picture, but this turtle was only the size of a large dinner plate. So tiny. Compared to the large ones that were about the size of the hood of your car, they looked so, so small. Well, anyways, this group of turtles was feeding on the algae below the surface. Some would get flipped over on their back as a wave would roll them over. Then a flail of flippers would frantically try to right themselves. They had to wait for the next wave to flip them over. It was cute. But my hiding hole is very hot and you were standing on black lava rock, which makes it even hotter. So we couldn't stay too long. But that is how I met this tiny turtle. But don't worry, I kept my distance and didn't bother the turtles. I will call this adventure finished. 
Thanks for going on this adventure with me. I can't thank you enough for supporting me through this process of growing my business and through all of these videos. It means so much to me. I will be, I'll be away in August for, and I will be doing research for Season 3. My locations will be Washington State, British Columbia, Canada, Alaska, and Hawaii. I hope to have some amazing adventures. And you can too. Make sure to go have an awesome adventure, go to the beach, go to the aquarium, whatever it is, go have an awesome adventure, get face to face with an animal, and do some research of your own on that animal. When we come back in Season 3, I would love to hear your adventures. Season 3 will start up in mid-September. That gives me time to organize all my photos and organize my thoughts so I can get a schedule out for you guys. As always, links are down in the description below where you can find my website and my shop, as well as my social media. I'll be using primarily my Instagram account during the summer while I'm away on my adventures. Keep in touch with me there. Remember, share your discoveries and adventures with a friend. I've been Brandon, and I'll see you in Season 3.